We often see sports improving the life of students. A transgender student at New Roads High School in Santa Monica has started a new tradition in one of America's classic pastimes. Cronkite News reporter Chantel Delagula met up with him to hear his story. On the outside, Jake Hofheimer looks like a typical 18-year-old boy. What many people don't know is that Jake was once Emma. I was always sort of a tomboy. Jake lived as Emma for 13 years. Then a guest speaker came to his middle school for Diversity Day and opened his eyes to the possibility of being transgender. There was a trans woman speaking and it kind of all clicked for me then and I kind of just like realized, oh wow, this makes sense. Although Jake had a difficult time in middle school, he found solace in sports. When fall came around in 10th grade, I played on the fall ball team and I really started to just, you know, I fell in love with the sport. During the game, Jake's focus is on the field of play, but afterwards, he brings his big personality and loves to make his teammates laugh. He uh, brings a lot of life and uh, humor to the team, for sure. And he definitely, uh, I don't know, he helps us on the field and off become a team and kind of a family. Jake shares a special bond with his coach on and off the field. He's just one of the guys. I think the kids all will, will look back and realize that they were part of something very unique and very groundbreaking in a lot of ways. He's always, you know, pushing me. He never really treats me like I'm any different than any of the other guys on the team. Jake finally found a sense of belonging on a boys team and he hopes other kids can find camaraderie too. I think that, you know, I want to be able to share my story and inspire other people to be themselves and but also inspire other people to be accepting. Jake wants to continue his fight for equality as a politician by studying political science at the University of Colorado Boulder in the fall. In Santa Monica, Chantal Delagula, Cronkite News. Arizona has a case-by-case -case process when allowing transgender athletes to compete. There are only three situations where athletes born of one gender were allowed to play for the team of the opposite gender.